Hello everyone, welcome back to Outchers Plays Vault Hunters Skyblock. I'm Outchers, this is my Skyblock world, and today in real life it's really warm and has been for a while. It's the weather in the UK. It used to be a cold country, now it's a sweltering country, and we're not used to it, so maybe less talking this episode, but notice when I logged on, I completely forgot we have to spend a skill point and an expertise point. Remember, an expertise point every five levels, so that's quite rare. We've spent two so far. One in experience, which increases the experience that you get. One in fortunate, which increases the amount of things that you get from blocks, provided you use a fortune tool in the first place, which we're going to do because we've got one. Um, there's other things we could probably put some points into. Uh, I'm not sure any of these is worth it as much as another point in fortunate, because if you remember, even with our maxim maximised fortune pickaxe, and one level in Fortunate, we're still not getting an amazing amount from smashing those Benny ores. Remember the Benny ores, the Benny type, Benito type ores that we were trying to get a whole bunch from so that we could make our next, you know, knowledge point? Nope, didn't get anything from it, not enough anyway. So hopefully our newly improved Fortune skills, plus this Fortune 3 pick, can this go any higher? <laughs> I don't think it can go any higher. Um, oh, apparently we've updated. Will, um, yeah, please. Yeah, there's a better bounty from when we do smash up those jewels. Uh, yeah, Fortune 3 is La Max, which is fine. That'll do. Uh, no problem. If it doesn't, we're just gonna have to go back into the vault and mine some more ore. Oh, well, what a shame. Right, what we're going to do today was spend this skill point as well, I suppose. Skills are actually struggling with um, how to actually improve. Um, we could probably improve Vein Miner. We could get our Nova going on, Frost Nova. We did want to unlearn um, the Piercing Javelin, and this is free, right? Specialization, so we don't have to put a point in that. Smite does what now? Smite will periodically strike a mob within range. Toggle ability. 0.4 mana per second, 200% damage. This must be new. I don't remember seeing this before. Did you? Did, which, which, oh, it seems brilliant. Uh, and Ar Archon, or Archon, Archon, it's Archon, uh, turn you into a spark, making any mob you physically touch get bolted for a percent of your damage. 25%, but presumably, I mean, it's not Isaac, so contact damage is not that much of a big deal. I'm wondering if that plus, because there's a, a bullet form of dash, right? Turns your dashes into bullets to any mob you hit with your dash. 50%. That plus this might actually combine. Um, I'm tempted to get this, but also I don't want to use another e binders to make it happen. Uh, so... Not having mana regen or a better mana pool yet. I think I just upgrade my vein miner. Which will make it'll make it a lot quicker to get through the ore POIs when we do find them. It's gonna be good because you know currently we're we're struggling with ores. We need more gems. So if we can get through the gems quicker, you, you get the idea. What should we do today? Well, the first thing we should do is probably use up this um, elixir vault that we were forced to create by the draconic um, quest book of. Drake and stuff. So we have to complete a god altar, and for it we get an altar chest scroll. I'd like to see how big that is. Um, but without anything else to do or say, because we've already made our crystal, and therefore no farms to build or anything, let's let's begin. Uh, let's swap our gear out, and let's begin. Okay, so because my new tool that I... I think this is the one I made because of the quest book. Because I put picking... Shoveling and axing on it. I got me for. I think I started with a pick, so I put shoveling and axing on it. I've only got twenty-seven capacity left, which means I can't put enough more things on it, the affinities on it, to make it worth as trying to do so, um, and therefore replace this one. So I'm just going to have it as a digging tool whilst we're in the vault, and not worry about it. I could put some on this. I don't know if that'll work. Do I need picking to break a chest? We could find out. But I'm not going to find out now. Let's go in. We need to find a god altar. Any god altar will do. And complete it. We have bounty. Vault meat. All right. I think we can manage that. Okay, cool. Surprising no one. It's an elixir vault. But have we got a special... 
theme? What is this theme? Easter eggs. Come on. This is not the candy theme that we're used to, but it's similar. Oh, I like it. Oh, cranky. Oh, I didn't unlearn this, did I? Look. Is that actual... Oh, it's you. I thought it was the elite that was shooting me. This is actually a good time to have the... Um... Well, I don't like the lag. Why is it lagging? It's actually a good time to have... Oh, you just stuck. <laughs> good time to have the piercing on my javelin, look, because I can shoot actually through that thing. I'm to some extent glad that I didn't unlearn it, but I did mean to, so not 100% glad. That was really good. We are looking for elixir. We got some from all that. Um, maybe mobs is the key? Is, uh, it's got the same gummy bears in it. But... Just a bit quicker. Uh, not too much from mining, maybe, but I think we just do everything. Let's resolve itself. Uh, again, very good elixir vault, because we've got about a third of what we need from the bottom half of the first room. By the way, which way are we going? <laughs> uh, that way? Whoa, 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 look at that. <clears throat> Have a lozenge. Is that a killer bunny from Antioch or something? <laughs> Yes. Suppose. Could buy this? I am rarely using my um, heal, but when I do need it, I'm glad it's there. Why are there so many baddies? Ah, crap, there's more. Die. Break. Die. Job done. Walk away, please. That is actually very much worth it, I think. Oh. Okay. There's a lot of carbon, actually. Carbon's good. We need that. It was a good, uh, good place to have been. Glad I, glad I risked it. I could have died. Of course, I'm really terrible at that sort of thing, but um, didn't, so win. Consume a lodestone. Job done. Alright, we can leave <laughs> whenever we like. Do we like? No. We might as well greed. Greed until we're scared. We are looking for vault meat, by the way. And a god altar, so we've got, we've got stuff to do. It's not like we're just you know, here for our own enjoyment. <laughs> it's funny because that's it's a game. This looks special. Oh. It is. <laughs> it's being cruel. Cruel game. Cruel. So this time I'm going around in a spiral. And the reason is that I want to be able to get out. That is the death noise from Doom. So that is definitely a bad noise. That's two now. But at least I was prepared for this one. They do seem to have stopped. Was it bad? Well, they haven't. Okay, never mind. Goodbye. <laughs> Another flipping challenge room, by the way. Now, is this the one that's full of baddies or the one that's full of ores? So full of us. Oh, both. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. I just need a god altar. <laughs> you know, the thing that's been available in every single vault so far. And vault meat, I suppose, which is living chests, which I can do this to find. Kind of glad I didn't. Um... Nope. Ah. Loads of elixir from that. Didn't need it. Too late, mate.
Ah, and also. Play right. Man. Well, we found a lodestone recently. <laughs> I've got to actually get back. I'm kind of hoping to find uh, a <laughs> lodestone in maybe this room. Or the next one. We do have Kiwis in our bag if we need to walk all the way back. That would be unfortunate. One minute. We'll probably leg it through the X Marks room without doing ourselves too much damage, but I'm not sure I'd want to risk it. Don't remember there being one in this room. Oh, come on. We can make it back. Where is it? <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well done, everyone. Now you know how they work. In case you hadn't noticed, it takes your health. Yay, level up. Chests uh, didn't get too much done. Our biggest numbers are Vault C. Right. Well, wasn't too bad. We did get our quest done. Perfecting jewels. Cutting station takes silver, scrap, and vault bronze and give you a fifty percent chance to cut down the size of a jewel. Random. The jewel will be if it fails, it'd be lowered by one tier, and then a chip will eventually break. So you don't completely lose your jewel, it goes down a level, but eventually... Uh, and when you lose a tier, you lose one of the multiple things it has. If it, if it has multiple things. So a flawless jewel may have multiple effects. If it goes down to flawed, then you will lose one of those effects at random. Let's see what an altar chest gets us. So this is five, which is the same as a living tier. Yes, that's good. That's, that's really good. We've got a chip jewel at 74 size, which is kind of useless. Broke. Oh, we got another living chest scroll that I didn't notice. Don't do that, by the way. That's a silly thing to do. Maybe we should put these in a drawer. That is full. <laughs> that is a full drawer. So what we can do here if you didn't already know. Take one of these upgrade templates that we've got. You do a void upgrade. From... Which was this? Two refined carbon. It's just chromatic iron and cactus stuff. Can we manage that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably shouldn't have chucked that stuff off the side, because then I couldn't demonstrate that what will happen here is that we put the void upgrade in... Just right-click like that. And then... There it is in there, shift right click. Anytime I try to put vault stone in here, it will accept it, but it will not increase the quantity, it will just delete it. Isn't that nice? That's really handy when you've got something of ridiculous quantities like that. Right, let's see what we get. I don't know if 3% crit, 3 percentage points of crit hit resistance is sort of equivalent to 2 armor, or if 2 armor is better. Because this one looks like it could be pretty good when uh, this one breaks. This one's almost exactly the same, <laughs> except for less armor. Let's get rid of this one. And, finally, terrible, really bad. More damage to undead. More attached to more durability. Empty suffix, we could try putting something on that. Because it looks like a strict upgrade, right? Apart from 2% undead damage, which is not, you know, it's not wowing me. This, remember, these ones don't just add the one that it says it adds. It rerolls everything, guaranteeing that one. So everything else goes away and changes. Undead damage isn't necessarily that good. Should we just wild reroll it? Nether damage. Durability. Right. Arthropods damage, which is spiders, and poison cloud is pretty good. I don't know what the chance of hitting is. It's really better. Attack range and illager damage. That seems really good. Because that's going to help us with trapped rooms, well, challenge rooms as they were, and um, dungeons. Less of a block chance, but some thorns. Soul chance. So that's the soul things that drop, right? That it goes in your soul pouch. Just a higher chance of dropping those, I think. Let's uh, just reroll everything. 
thorns, crit hit resistance. Healing cloud when hit. That looks good. And then this one. And then we've got more thorns damage. I like this one. So this is a good replacement for... But I'm not sure it's better than what's in here. So we can um and ah about it all again when we actually get to the point of replacing our shield. Our quest is demanding that we acquire a cutting station. Didn't we do that? Oh yeah, I need to complete it. There we go. Interact with the black market. With the black market? Oh, we should check that. Actually, it's what's in it. Since we're going to anyway. The new helmet. We got 256 from that. Using knowledge. Craft a knowledge star. Got eight of these. Oh, we needed uh, bennies, didn't we? Well, we got three. Ah, we could have been really good. Could have been a knockout punch for the whole concept. But no. So we can make nearly one. <laughs> I guess we'll come back to it. So we got a skill point, by the way. Because I just leveled up. Uh -huh. Yes, of course I did. So um, it's not K. I keep pressing K and it's H. Okay, it's H. One thing we could think about doing is leveling up haste or strength or something. This costs one each time. Well, one, one, two. This costs one, 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 one. Right. This is always basically just a thing, a dump stat, right? Which makes it really good, actually. So let's do that. Uh, and then let's talk about regret. So a choice flask removes a special... Right, remember we looked at these a couple of episodes ago? Uh, a choice flask removes specialization from a thing. And we want to remove specialization from Hunter. So we want Amethyst. Oh, you're using up my bennies. And an empty flask. So Amethyst for Hunter. It would be nice, actually, if Hunter let you hunt for all by drinking this. Now you will find that your hunter is now... You can p pick a new one if you want to. Coins, ornate, living, gilded, or observer, which is the objective for your vault. And we're going to unlearn the piercing one from Javelin as well. So here it is. It is yet my other Benny and an arrow. So I didn't like it. So fun as that is to experiment, it isn't... <laughs> kind of drag us away from being able to learn our mods because it's costing us our Benniotite all the time. Right, we should make that snow farm <laughs> we're talking about. And then um, we have got a sort of mob farm, so I'm not too worried about doing that. Yeah, there's stuff in here from my uh, reward crate. Remember to look in these when you get a reward crate because we're going to pick stuff up unless you turn them off and I can't bother turning them all off every single time means you have to remember to look. I don't have any pumpkins, which is an important part of a snowman. So I'm going to have to find one, and I think the only way to get them is going to be from a raw vault. We could also just get a whole bunch more snowballs, which would be fine, um, but I would like to have a supply, so I want to get this done. It looks like I'm old enough to have earned a nether room in my raw vaults. That's really helpful, because <laughs> netherrack was going to start being a problem. We've only found a couple so far, um, and they've been compressed blocks, which have just luckily shown up um, wherever it was we happened to be. So a lot of lava in here, which is nice. I'm not going to take too many decorative blocks, but I'm definitely going to take these um, vanilla blocks and this um, the, the quartz here, because these are the sorts of things that show up on the vault altar and in recipes. So that's going to be really helpful. Well, I found melons. I had to make a whole new box for them. Son of pumpkins. Uh, I don't think pumpkin seeds drop from grass, which makes perfect sense. <laughs> I don't know why they would, so don't worry about that. Um, so I think that they do generate in living, uh, in raw vaults, in those sort of village rooms, those farm rooms, but I've only found melons and, you know, various carrots and things like that. So uh, I'm going to have to do another one. I The other thing, which is what I said I would do, is that I ended up collecting a bunch of snow. This is 
flat snow, but that's because it has silk touch. That's fine. You can turn it into snowballs. So if I want snow, I can make snowballs from the snow that generates way more abundantly than actual pumpkins, apparently. But eventually we can probably put a little uh, golem in here. Should be trapped. And hopefully it doesn't melt. Should we do one more vault, and then I can stop playing Minecraft for the day, start editing the video, and I can see you on the other side. How does that sound? Um, well, quest is to use a novice star, and our, <laughs> our, our our bounty is to still find vault meat, which should have been easy, but I haven't found any. All right, remember the remember the job we put. We ignored the loot in the first room. We are going east to west, which is new, apart from last time. <laughs> the uh, raw vault was east to west for anybody looking at my chat there, but. Yep, right, now we can do what we want. Hello. So the middle one there, so that if I want to venture off to a different path, I sort of snake backwards and forwards, and I know when I've hit the, the middle path that my you know, chat message refers to, because it'll be in the middle of the room as I cross over horizontally, rather than it being something I have to keep watch for. So we do want... Oh, nice. Um, I <laughs> living chests for vault meat? And I have unspec that. I, I regretted, to some extent, specking the living chest hunter thing because it was just a whim at the time but now i'm kind of realizing that it's the one that i want to use all the time anyway so i don't now i regret regretting it because you know what i mean I want it back i mean i can have it back but i don't then want to spend another beniotite on benito on on regretting it again when i actually want to change it so i think i'll leave it for now i'm glad i took vein miner because suddenly our all pois are insanely big Hopefully it won't be too long. What, what level are we? 16. You know, it shouldn't be too, too long before we can afford to uh, start making uh, chromatic steel tools, at which point we can put more things on them and therefore actually, you know, have more versatile tools. And I think this is a whole all room based on how many there have been, so good opportunity to get decent quantity of the, the pressure source, because there's ores that we haven't had yet, and I really need them to make a pog to make a draw controller and many other things which are going to require pogs over time. Just remember, oh, I've just remembered, I wanted to repair that <laughs> in the last episode I even said, hey, isn't it great we've got so many repair cores and that they were rewarded awarded as rewards to us because I could repair that pick, which could do so many things before it broke, and then this episode I was like, it's okay, I've got a sort of a spell. Look, skeleton patch. So I was explaining how rare they are. So what we got out of it? Decent amount of things. Plenty of Benny, so we might actually <clears throat> be able to make our knowledge star when we get out of here. Aha! A little bit of exploring. That's vault meat, right? One. One vault meat. <laughs> it's a good thing my magnet picks up my uh, sword immediately, because I just got caught out by that thing. Where... You try to you accidentally throw your um, sword away because the chest disappeared. I'm not sure why that would cause me to press Q. Oh, because I'm pressing Control Q to start throwing stuff out of the chest, of course. I think I still have failed to find any of the two missing gems. 
I need for a pog. Ooh. Is that a legendary magnet? It's pretty nice. Five minutes, so maybe I'll do one. We'll, we'll go to the first room. That's why we do it this way. We didn't loot the first room because now we can make a beeline for it and uh, see what we can find when we get there. This seems like it. Right, let's have a look. Got three minutes. Did we go upstairs? Probably not. We haven't even been here. Amazing. Oh, right. This bloke. There's three of them. Yeah. We did explore this room more than I thought we should. <laughs> right, it's the second room we should be looking in. Because we explored this room to some extent just to see if there was a monolith in it, and there wasn't. Not really interesting enough to loot. Because I looted the chests that I thought, oh, I want to take that on the way by, because they were, you know, the ornate chests and what have you. Um, didn't bother with the wooden chests, because they're wooden chests. It's a bit like they're right there, man. You could at least. Wait until they're out of earshot before you say things like that. Nice calm one. How about that? We did win, right? We got our reward. We didn't level up, actually. So we're getting to that sort of stage. Samurai chest. Mm. We do actually have mana regen on our magnet. Living affinity and vanilla more immort So this one you see is a flawed jewel. If we were to fail to cut this one, it would drop down to chipped and lose either the living affinity or the vanilla immortality and it's a gamble as to which one you lose which is a problem because one of them is good and one of them is bad so you don't want to lose the good one Ooh, earth elephant i think that's a new one. Oh, an augment cave theme so much like the um the way you can force it to be an elixir vault you can also force it to just have a particular theme and other things that this will allow. I put an augment on them. Well, I'm not sure we can re-roll them into something as good. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to try putting the suffix on and see what happens. Not back resist. Re-roll it. No, bad. Five health, one armor, and three item quantity. That's pretty good compared to what the other one is, which is, you know, pretty spicy. You know, legendary. I guess they're both common, but the other one has a legendary sort of overroll. I think we've got to the point where we can maybe make this knowledge star. So let's try. How much Benny did we get? Ten. It's more like it. It's more than I can mine at once, which is therefore decent. Is it? No, apparently it's not. <laughs> 35. That's a lot, actually. What can I mine at once now, then? 16. Oh, I thought it was up to 8. Oh, 8 is the normal, and then you downgrade 8 to 4 if you get the fortune, but that's not a thing anymore. To be fair, we do use most of those bennies on this, so... <laughs> Ta-da! Knowledge star. The grand to level 20. Beach vault level 20, and we get another knowledge star. That's very helpful, actually. I'm going to store this rather than um, using it, because I don't want it to say unspent knowledge point in the top corner for the rest of my life until we get enough to actually use them, so we've got to be a little bit practical about that. And in our modded box, we win some compressed snad. sand. It's just sand! It's from Compressium. It's just compressed sand. This is what I, I feel cheated. Well, I think that's probably enough video for one day. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry that these videos are more than a week apart. It's because A, it's really hot. B, I'm really tired. And, you know, C, I've got stuff to do. So, unfortunately, I don't get around to editing the videos or finishing recording them or anything within within the week. Oh, it's time for time for a bad piece, is it? Do you know what I do with you? I sleep through you. <laughs> anyway, please be patient with me whilst I, you know, get the video out, get it all edited up and stuff. It's not like I just record it and put it on the internet like I used to, although maybe I could. Um, but I'm not going to do that. 
this time. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you join me in the next episode. I've been Alchius. This has been Altrius Plays and Forgets to Speak Properly, Vault Hunters Skyblock. And I'm going to try and grind some pumpkins between now and next time. And also I said I'd fix up those things, but I haven't. In order to uh, get a snowman going. And then we'll see what we do next episode. Thanks for watching. See you around.